Virginia and South the Amherst and providing accordance with the requirements of Chapter 231, Public Law 1975. Notice the meeting was posted on the Board of the Principal's Office of the Belmont Elementary School, Main Street, Belmont, New Jersey, on January 10th, 2014. Notice of the meeting was transmitted to the Edgewood Park Press, the Coast Star, the Municipal Clerk of Belmont, and the Lake Como School Board District on January 10th, 2014. Mr. Holman, for yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
And as a young uh, teacher, um, she is looked to as a teacher uh, leader here. So <coughs> congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and that is the superintendent's report. Mr. Brand? Yes. Mr. Fury? Yes. Mr. Wolfsburg? Uh, abstain. Ms. Hillier? Yes. Thank you. Okay, Um, this is the public hearing on the 2014-15 budget. Um, there were handouts there if you'd like to follow along. If you have questions, there's a question section at the end. But if anyone has a specific question on a slide, please feel free just to um, ask. Uh, okay, so the school budget not only supports the elementary school here, but it also um, supports tuition for high school students, our outside special education placements, and the transportation for both high school and special education students. Uh, Belmar Elementary School, our estimated enrollment for next year is 561 students. We have 137 students that attend high schools, Manasquan, Red Bank Regional, um, primarily our vocational schools. We have 17 in vocational high schools, and we have 14 students in special needs placements. So that is a total of 729 students for um, that we budget for. Our out-of-district cost for those students that attend high school, as you can see the breakdown, tuition um, at both the public schools and vocational high schools, <coughs> education, um, tuition for special education. So three and a half million dollars out of our budget is for students who attend schools outside of the elementary school. Um, uh, okay. um, salaries and benefits um, make up 60% of our budget. Tuition and transportation for the students out of district is 30%. Our operational and educational expenses is about 10%. In this budget, we have two additional lunchroom aides. We're adding a health, a dedicated health teacher. And we also have money that we are taking out of capital reserve that the board has saved over the last 10 years to supplement. Uh, we applied and received a grant from the School Development Authority. So we took $400,000 out of our capital reserve didn't have to raise taxes for that, and we're getting the remaining money, about $280,000 from the state for uh, projects to be done at the school. We're replacing windows, uh, repointing, doing some needed um, grading in the playground, and doing playground renovation. Our revenues, again, tax levy makes up 60% of our revenues. We receive tuition from Lake Como, and that's about 18%. Um, state aid, about 7% of our budget. And restricted state and federal aid is 10%. And debt service for when we did uh, major renovations in the school makes up the other 3%. Restricted aid, state and federal aids can only be used for the programs they're intended for. They can't be used for anything other than what they're intended for. Uh, state aid this year, we did receive an increase in state aid of $59,255. 
Um, it is still almost $200,000 less than we received in the 2008-2009 um, school year. So our state aid this year is $1,184,167. Okay. Um, the tax levy, <coughs> last year the tax levy was $7,633,313. This year, what the board is proposing is seven million seven eighty five nine seventy nine. It's a almost a one and a half percent, one and a half cent increase. It's a two percent increase on the tax levy. The board could have there's tax levy waivers and cap waivers that you can apply for. The board chose not to do that to stay within the two percent cap. So they didn't do anything extra to go over that. Um, and again, it's about one and a half cent increase. And what that means, the average assessed value of the homes in Belmar, the average is $339,000. So what we did was compare what it, the school tax for 2013 was to 2014. Sorry, that second column should say 2014. Um, it's an annual increase for the average homeowner of $53.90 or $4.49 per month and then we break it out uh, for the different home valuations. And that's all I have. If you have any questions, <coughs> we have to answer them. <coughs> Does anybody have any questions about the budget? Uh, any public have any questions about the budget for Board of Hearing none, can I have a, mo uh, motion to adopt the 2013 uh, 2014 budget? Oh, sorry, Part 14, 15. Mm -hmm. Second. Ms. Barry? Yes. Mr. Brand? Yes. Mr. Fury? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Ms. Herbert? Yes. Mr. Walsper? Yes. Ms. Hellier? Yes. Thank you. Okay, I need a motion to uh, go into executive session. Uh, we're going to be going into executive session for about 10 minutes. Uh, just to discuss a few personnel items that we have to vote on when we come back out. So, uh, I need a motion for us to go in the public uh, or uh, executive session where the public is excluded and uh, such time. So, uh, and, uh, sometime that, that being the day public. Uh, motion.